what is up you guys? My name is Savannah. In case you guys forgot, it's been a couple couple weeks since I posted a video, but I promise you I'm still here. Um, life has just been crazy. I'm planning a wedding. Q4 just started. Sales have been really great. Um, so I think I'm going to start doing some what sold videos on YouTube as well because I've been just crazy busy shipping stuff out and I feel like that would be really helpful for you guys to see what I actually pick up and what it actually realistically sells for. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing those. Sorry it's been a while, but I got a really great haul to come back with today. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy and I'm just gonna get right into it. So my favorite thrift finds of the week, this mug. Well, I actually got two of them, the other one's in the car. It says Mount Rushmore, but it's this cute little camp mug and I've been wanting one for myself. So I was really excited when I found it and I paid 99 cents a piece for both of them. Now we can start. So I went to a couple different places this week. Uh, most of the stuff I got, I paid by the pound. So it was either a dollar to a dollar and 20 cents a pound. But this first stuff I'm gonna show you, I got on the ARC half off day. So I'll just show you this stuff first and then everything else I don't know exact prices of, but it was pretty cheap. <laughs> so when I was flipping through, I saw what looked to be a little tearaway tag at the top and I was like, could it be? And it was. A Lululemon, oh, where's the logo? There it is. Lululemon herringbone wool sweater. And I've never found a Lululemon sweater. I have no idea where the size tag is, um, if there even is one, or if that was the only one. But I paid $3 for it, half of $5.99, and it's 100% merino wool. I love it. I wish it was my size. I would keep it. Uh, next. From the arc is a knitted and knotted and I was just watching uh, a haul the other day I think it was empty hanger and she was saying this is the newer knitted and knotted anthropology tag so that's exciting but this is a little stubby knit sweater I think this might be the same sweater that the empty hanger just hauled but in a different color so it's really cute it has this little crocheted hem yeah, so it is sold at Anthropology. Oh, in a skull little hole. <laughs> That's okay. I paid three dollars. Oh, you can't, you can't win them all. Uh, Trina Turk. This was half of four ninety nine, so two dollars and fifty cents. Just a little knotted front blouse. I have never heard of this brand, but. I am obsessed with this sweater. It is great. So the brand is Donna Salyers or Salyers Fabulous Furs 100% Faux. Um, so when I looked her up on eBay, it looked like she sold a lot of faux furs um, and they were priced very high, but I did not see anything similar to this. So I honestly have no idea, no idea about pricing, but I knew I had to get it because it was so cute. And I paid $3. All right, looks like that's everything from the ARC, so I'm just gonna jump into the stuff by the pound. Okay, so starting off with this Free People. It feels like linen, I'm not sure if it is. Free People, little knit dress. And it looks like there's some distressing, but I'm thinking that's the style. I'll have to look it up. If not, I'll just disclose it. Um, but yeah, it's a little tunic, dress, knit, sweater type deal. It's cute. Um, a Jawa, 100% silk. I looked up the style on this and I'm completely blanking on what it was ca called. But um, yeah, I love the pattern. And it is a size medium. I don't get a ton for Joa pieces, honestly. It really does not move that fast for me, so I would not advise paying a lot for it. But I probably paid less than a dollar because it was at the bins, so. Um, an Express, and I think this is brand new. It still has part of the Express tag, the little black tag. And it feels like it's never been worn or washed. And it's this gorgeous pleated flare skirt this little window pane plaid thing going on and I don't pick up a lot of Express but I have started to because it sells really well for me on Poshmark and um, I found some really cute pieces today so maybe I'll become a believer in Express. 
Um, this is a free people, interesting free people tag. Um, but it's 100% silk, and I thought this would be a lot better than it was. I looked up comps on this, and it's only selling for about like $22. It is 100% silk, and it has this gorgeous peacock feather detail and a little tie neck. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely still pick it up when it's by the pound, super light. All right, a florite anthropology strapless dress with this super fun embroidery and it almost looks like fish scales it is so cute and um yeah so this looks like an older florite piece i'm not sure if it's sought after it'd be cool if it was um another piece that i have no idea if it's sought after but i just had to have it is this pho i love pho do you love pho um, it's a papaya brand. I don't know. It's just the cutest graphic t-shirt ever. And I had to pick it up. And surprisingly, I could not find anything about this brand. But I just knew somebody on Poshmark, maybe even somebody on eBay, wants to wear a carton of pho soup. Because why not? <laughs> um, next, I got this Torrid brand new with tags. Yay! So it retailed for $42.90 and it's a size 2 and so Torrid does uh, vanity sizing so uh, kind of like Chico's but size 2 in Torrid I believe is a 2XL so it's a cute little ruffly top with this I don't know it's kind of a paisley print at the bottom this is a brand some of you may have not heard of um, it's popular kind of around here just because I'm in Colorado. A lot of people ski and snowboard. It's a popular ski and snowboard brand, but it is Saga. And it's a super oversized. They're known for like their tall tee type, you know, ski and snowboard apparel. But yeah, Saga. And I probably should get about $40 to $50 for this. Um, these pieces do really well. And right now is the perfect time for it because a lot of snowboarders will just layer it. All right, so next I have this Social Light, which is a Nordstrom, um, I believe a Nordstrom Rack or maybe a Nordstrom House brand. I don't pick it up a lot. It's really not super expensive new. So this was $30 at Nordstrom Rack. Before the discount it was 58, but I just love this color right now, this like mauve nude and, oh, I just made a sale. <laughs> And it's just really cute and it's new with tags. People are gonna be buying a lot of these holiday looking dresses for all the party coming up. So I need to stock up. Um, this is a pair of True Religions and they're so tiny. These are a size 23, which is wild. 23, I don't think I've ever, I don't know if that's considered kid sizing. I have sold 24, but this might just be like a double zero. I'm not sure. I have to do some research, but they are the Billy Boot, it says right there, and they're in great, great condition. So, um, I'll probably get about like 20 to 25 dollars for them. True, true religion does not do as well as it used to, unfortunately, but I'll still pick it up. All right, a Lulu Lemon men's. Um, hoodie and it's missing the drawstring but it does have the tearaway tag it is a size small so that's how I know it's men's because women's um, does the 0 through 12 sizing and the men's Lululemon is gonna be just small small medium large extra large so I have no idea what kind of hoodie this is but I was really excited to find it uh, men's Lululemon moves a lot quicker for me than women's so hey um, but yeah, I'll probably get about like 40 to 50, somewhere around there. Next is this cashmere sweater by Poetry. Poetry, and I've never picked up this brand before, but it looks like it does really well. So this is 100% cashmere. It does have one tiny little hole at the top, but it's a light blue boat neck sweater. And I'll probably get about $25 for this. Um, this is a 
Lucky Brand. A little pineapple graphic shirt. It's definitely more summery, but I just love pineapples. So I had to get it. Um, I had pineapple mailers for the longest time, and I finally, finally made the switch. It was a hard one. But <laughs> not your daughter's jeans. Whoa! <laughs> not your daughter's jeans. And these are a size 14, skinny, um, black, like velour pants, and they're in great condition. Size 14 is my favorite size of not your daughters to find. I swear they sell so much quicker than any other size. Don't know why, but I'll probably get about $30 for these. Um, this is a Catherine Malandrino little pea soup green <laughs> colored skirt with this awesome full zip down the back. And it also has the embroidered zipper. It's a brand I've never heard of, but I was very impressed when I looked it up. It is Acorn um, by Bob Gold. Oh, wow, I'm blind. Bob Gold Fetter. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure if this is men or women's. I got to do more research. Um, but it's a super soft, I think it's just a cotton. It kind of feels like chambray ish. Um, it feels like cloth and stone, if I could put a feeling on it. And uh, it was made in Italy, so I thought to look it up, and it sells for about 40 bucks for a shirt like that. So definitely pick that up. This is a Wrap London 100% uh, alpaca. And it doesn't say just alpaca, but baby alpacas, which kind of makes me sad. But uh, it's really soft. <laughs> And I hope that no alpacas were harmed in the making of the sweater. It um, will probably sell for about $40. Uh, some cut from the cloth pont <laughs> leggings. So they're like a stretchy, high-waisted legging. <laughs> pont legging. Um, the North Face Summit Series. These are the little convertible pants, so they zip off into shorts, or you can wear them as pants. And they are kind of padded, actually. Um, so I'm going to have to do some research on the style, but these do really well for me. They're just a women's hiking pants, but if you ever find them in the men's, it's even better. <laughs> they sell for a lot more, but the women's I'll still probably get about $25 for. Um, this is an Armani Exchange, which... I am very wary of what I pick up from this brand now. I used to think it was really good, but it really isn't <laughs> for resale. Um, certain pieces though, like this, is just adorable. And I can tell it's like newer. Uh, it has like little cutouts um, and the embellishments. So I picked it up. Um, so I picked this up and immediately I was like, Lily Pulitzer sells black dresses. <laughs> And I was like, this is too good to be true. I have never seen this. Is this like one of one? But no, it's Michael Kors. <laughs> but it has the total Lily Pulitzer shift dress thing going on. You can see that. And I think it'll still do good. Even though it's Michael Kors, I'll probably get about $25 to $30. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, this is a Gap. A little puffer down puffer vest and when I'm at the bins especially this time of year I pick up a lot of brands of down puffer jackets so I'm very not picky as long as they don't have holes and stains um, like Old Navy down puffers even uh, Eddie Bauer down puffers like I was saying before I was very rudely interrupted by uh, a solicitor about health care down puffers <laughs> get them no matter the brand, especially at the bins, they're light. They weigh nothing. And I'll probably get about $20 for that one. I like the color. Hudson. Super skinny. Denim jeans. Probably about $20. I love finding Express Portofino shirts. And this one looks fairly new and I want this for myself. I'm about to go look for this print for myself on Poshmark. It looks like an aspen tree and I love it. <laughs> it is so cute. And these are super sought after. People just know how they fit. 
Um, obviously, it's a career piece, but they're just adorable. I would wear that every day. Um, so I'll probably get about $25 for that one. Unless it's like some super rare express print <laughs> that I don't know about. I'll probably get like 20 25 Uh, holding horses, anthropology, little tunic, um, plaid thing. Super cute. It's kind of high-low. You can see that. There we go. Um, but yeah, super soft, super adorable for fall. A pair of boots and some leggings. Um, next is this E by Eloise, which is anthropology, <laughs> um, and it's a little keyhole back dress. It's super cute. It kind of looks like a nightgown, but it's super cute nonetheless. Um, this is a brand that empty hanger talks about a lot and I have never found it before it is chaser and it is this little skull floral burnout tank top and so I'll probably get about $20 for that it's super light so it's exciting to find all right this is a free people I have no idea what size this is because unfortunately it fell off but it's this little knit fitted blouse This J. Crew dress that I am so in love with, and apparently this is used as a bridesmaid dress. I completely forgot the style of it, um, but it is this little satin fit and flare dress, and it's in this maroon fairy color. Just so perfect for the holidays and for fall. This is a size six. All right, I got this Maeve Anthropology. Um, black and white fit and flare dress and I love Maeve dresses because they all have pockets which is super convenient and I'll probably get about $30 for this and then I got a mountain hardware wool wool sweater okay next is the super crazy vintage windbreaker check it out I couldn't leave it behind. Um, somebody is going to love the death out of this hideous thing. I, I don't think it's hideous, but you know, it's teach their own. <laughs> it does have shoulder pads, so a little questionable, but um, yeah, someone will like it. What are you? Oh, okay, so I found a couple plus size Bowden dresses. I was super excited about. If I could find the tag, that would be great. There we go. So this is a size 20 regular um, plus size floral dress. And it's super cute. I'm gonna have to look up the pattern because I have no idea. Um, but I did find another one. It's gonna be somewhere in this hole. It's just in the pile next to me. Um, Victoria's Secret. This is a little sleep nighttime kimono thing. There we go. Oh, I love this dress. I've never picked up this brand before. Melrose and Market. Um, I think it's sold at Nordstrom Rack, but I'm not sure. So it is this little, oh, so cute velvet and like rose. I guess like a chemise dress. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably not, I'm not French. But <laughs> it's so cute. Look at the pattern. Maybe this is more of a blouse. It is really short, but I don't know. It is adorable. And it's gonna have a perfect home for the holidays. I just know it. Um, some Nike LeBron James. Tiger sweat shorts and these are super popular right now um, so yeah I think these will probably probably get about 25 to 30 dollars a prana prana this is a newer prana um, super soft black pullover cowl neck and there we go has 
a little hoodie pocket in the front. The Prana logo on the back. But the little cowl neck uh, hoodies are super in right now. So this is a brand I've never heard of, but it looked like it did very well. It is Aventura. I've never found it, but yeah, you can definitely tell it's quality. Feels very nice. And this is a size extra large. And here is that other Bowden dress. I think these were all from the same lady. Um, Bowden, this is the older Bowden tag, but this is a size 18, is this 18L? Not sure if that's 18 long or what, but it is this beautiful blue maxi dress. Ooh, super long, <laughs> but yeah, it's really pretty and it's super soft. It's in great condition. All right, and then a marmot purple, super soft. <laughs> This just came out of the wash too, so it smells great. Um, Marmot fleece, and these do really well this time of year. I'll probably get about $20, but super light. And Effie's Heart, which I feel like I've picked up something from this brand before, but I have no idea what it was or how it did, but I knew I had to have this because look at how cute. It's like a pinup style dress, I feel like. I don't know, it has like the old school planes. Um, a little ruffly thing going on. So I'll probably do some research and stick rockabilly and stuff in the title if it looks like this brand is geared towards that crowd. I don't know, it's really cute. Um, has a more vintage look to it even though it's newer. So this is a fish, the band fish. <laughs> and I love coming across fish gear because you've never heard of fish it's pretty much like Grateful Dead status fan base they're very loyal there's a lot of them that live in Colorado um, don't know why that is but <laughs> um, I find a lot of fish stuff and some of it is very sought after so I'm gonna have to do some research this looks like an official tour hoodie from 2011 and it is so soft and it's printed on American Apparel which is real nice so I might even have some friends that want that, to be honest, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, Peruvian Connection. Oh, it has been a minute since I found this brand, and I love it so much. Um, this is a very basic piece. It's just, I think it's Pima cotton. I don't even think it's wool or anything, but it has like some cutouts, and it's black. It is washing me out. <laughs> um, and it's a size extra large. I'll probably get about $35 for this, even though it's very basic. It's a super great brand. Right, a pair of Lulu Limons. And I have no idea what these are. And at first, I honestly wasn't sure if they were real, but they do have the tearaway tag and everything. Um, they're definitely like a thinner material, not like the Luan, but they are super skinny. Um, they might even be cropped. I don't know. I have to do some research. I'm in a Facebook group, uh, Lululemon A to Z. Definitely recommend if you have questions on Lululemon to join that group. And um, also Lulu Fanatics is super helpful, but just a warning, you can get lost on that website for hours and never find the style you want, so it can be heartbreaking. Okay, so next I got these boots that I'm probably gonna keep for myself. <laughs> they are Steve Madden. Um, the style is called P. Trevor, I don't know, but they're these gorgeous leather boots in amazing condition, and I don't think they'll be listed because they're mine now. <laughs> they're too cute, and I need a pair of boots, so they're mine. Um, this is a pair of Current Elliot, and wow, now that I'm looking at them, no. Those have to be. They almost look painted on, the polka dots. I'm gonna look these up real quick and see if the style is actually meant to be polka dotted or if these were like painted on. Cause it almost looks painted on. Oh yeah, okay, so the style is lemongrass, 
polka dots. It has the tag and everything. These just looked almost like someone had a lot of time on their hands and like went to town with uh, some white out. I don't know, in some places they're rubbed off, so I'm definitely gonna have to note that. The back is what really threw me off. They're all like mismatched sizes, but I guess that's just the style, so hey. But I'll still note it that some of them are a little rubbed off. I don't know. I like the color. <laughs> that's the bottom line. Current Elliot. Um, this is a soft surroundings. Um, this still has the Goodwill tag on it. Soft surroundings. And I've actually sold this same top before. It's just this very scrunchy, uh, like viscose turtleneck top. I'll probably get about $20 for that. Nothing crazy. Um, this is a brand I've never heard of before. And when I looked it up, it looked like it could be very good. Um, but I'm not really sure because there were not a ton of comps, but the ones there were were really good. So it is Surfline Hawaii. It has that Surfline Hawaii patch. So they're obviously a pair of like board shorts. Um, I have no idea. These might be great. They might not be great. <laughs> it's okay. Ah, I was so excited to find this. And I was really hoping maybe it was a Pendleton, but I was still really excited when I saw it is a L.L. Bean. Very, oh, very vintage L.L. Bean. The tag is coming untacked a little bit. But L.L. Bean made in Freeport. <laughs> is that Maine? Emmy? God, I'm horrible. <laughs> um, can you tell I've never been to the East Coast? But this is a big wool blanket and it is so perfect for Christmas time and just fall time in general. Toss on the couch. Not gonna lie, I kind of wanted to keep it, but I have so many blankets that I've accumulated from thrift stores. <laughs> I don't need another one. And I'll probably get about 80 to $90 for this. Yay. Uh, next are a couple pairs of White House Black Market corduroy skinny jeans and I believe they have the same size um, so I might actually just lot these up oh, yep they are the same size but they are a different cut so I probably won't lot them up uh, these are a boot cut and these are more of like a straight leg but yeah just black and white corduroy velvety feeling jeans um, this is a Under Armour West Point, which I believe is a army base or something. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly what it is, but um, I love finding the Under Armour gear, even if it does have uh, spell outs on it. It does not matter. And this one is a size small. When I saw this at the Goodwill outlet, I got really excited because it is Dulce and Gabbana. And um, it was originally sold at Bergdorf Goodman, which I'm not sure if that's a still a department store, but it's this gorgeous gray wool peacoat. Let's see the buttons have that. It's kind of like a blazer peacoat. It has like some fake pockets. Um, and I do need to lint roll this. Wow, there's a lot of lint. But uh, it is adorable. I'm really excited about it. It's the lining. There is a tear in the lining, uh, kind of near the armpit, so that was the one thing that is wrong with this, but I was still going to grab it, especially at the Goodwill outlet. So one of my favorite finds of the week, for very obvious reasons, just look at them, they're great. Um, they're these Celine sunglasses, which, I'm not going to lie, if these don't sell within, uh, I'll give them 30 days. They are mine. <laughs> but they are so cute, and I could not believe that I found these when I had to pay by the pound, because these probably cost less than a dollar. They're so light, and yeah, they come in this lean carrying case. Super gorgeous. Alright, so these 
I have no idea about. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm waiting on some replies and um, some authentication groups I'm a part of on Facebook. And I'll probably get these looked at in person too. Um, Christian Louboutin. I know nothing about these. Um, I know, you know, the loop, the thing's supposed to loop. I don't know. I know certain things, but not enough to feel confident about these. They feel really nice, but I have no idea. So, did I find Louboutins? Christian Louboutins? Um, by the pound, maybe? To be continued. I'll keep you guys updated. New brand is fairly new to me, but it is great, and I love these sandals. They're in really good condition. Um, it is Naut, or N-A-O-T. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But these are in great, great condition, and I have these priced at about $45. Okay, next, got a North Face, North Face, green little fleece jacket, and it's hooded, it's a women's, women's size, medium, and I'll probably get about $20 for this. North Face stuff doesn't do as well as it used to, at least for me, but it's still super cute and great for this time of year. Um, J. Crew, J. Crew Factory, 100% um, cotton, little navy cardigan sweater. Um, some Carhartt, Carhartt, FR, um, and these are a women's size six, just really nice canvas cargo pants, and I usually get about $25 for those, at least in the women's, uh, the women's Carhartts. Um, the North Face, extra large, just a women's um, cropped yoga pants. They're really soft, athletic material, super stretchy, and yeah, they have a logo right there. Okay. And some American Eagle. Um, these are the sateen, super skinny jeans. Not everyone picks up American Eagle, but I do. <laughs> Especially in the skinny jeans and the jegging styles. It's just super consistent. One of those bread and butter brands. Um, but yeah, I definitely pick it up. It's, it's, as long as it's the right price, I guess I should say. I wouldn't pay like above $3 for a pair of American Eagle jeans, but they will sell. Um, this is a Meadow Rue for Anthropology, And I find this brand all the time, but I've never actually seen like for Anthropology on the tag. I don't know if you can see that. But it's this really pretty maroon, ruffly, um, kind of like a chevron print blouse. It's a size four. It has this really pretty button detail on the back. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite brand to find. It is cool. Or cool. Cool. Um, and this is a pair of women's, can you tell? I like to button pants. <laughs> um, it's one of those things that peeves me when I'm in a haul. I'm like, oh, those pants aren't buttoned. <laughs> but they are cool women's size six hiking shorts. Yeah, and I'll probably get about 25. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul of stuff I got this week um, from a couple different thrift stores and the Goodwill outlets. I found a lot of great stuff this week and I'm really excited to see what it sells for and what sells first. Um, I'm going to be posting some videos of weekly sales starting this week, so if you guys want to see that, you can subscribe and see when I post that video. Um, quarter four has already been really crazy busy, so I'm really excited to see uh, what happens. My goal for these next three months is to gross $25,000 in sales between Poshmark and eBay. So. Whew, let's well, see. It's gonna be a crazy ride, but um, hopefully you guys look forward to watching and yeah, have a great day. Great week of sales. Bye guys.